On a Christmas Eve, Scrooge sat busy in his counting house. Christmas Carol is one of the greatest loved uh, stories of all time from one of our greatest loved writers, Charles Dickens. Oh, but he was a tight-fisted hand at the grindstone was old Scrooge. Squeezing, wrenching, grasping, clutching, scraping, covetous old sinner. There was never a consideration to use more than one actor. Um, it was always the idea that one actor could somehow create this world. Dickens did it to great effect, so we wanted to try and achieve it ourselves. Well, the, the challenges of, of the, the magic elements or the mysterious elements, they are all part of the characters. They, they, they can't be overlaid and become separate elements to the piece. We've decided to go down the road of a, an old Victorian style piece of theatre and using effects that were available in that period. Soon as the clerk came in with a shovel, his master predicted it would be necessary for them to part. Everything we hear, aside from Kern's voice, is created by myself, so that's musical underscore and any kind of sound effects. We have quite a lot of music and sound making the story move along. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said that Christmas, Christmas was a humbug <laughs> as I lived and he believed it. <laughs> I think there's two things really that we're looking for people to get from it. The first is to celebrate it as a piece of theatre, as a great piece of storytelling. Well, the thing that I think mainly appealed to me about this particular production is the huge challenge that it sets before you. And try to warm himself by the candle, in which effort, not being a man of very strong imagination, he... he... It's so well written, the characters are so beautifully drawn by Dickens that as a director it's a wonderful opportunity to work with one of the greatest writers um, and to share that with an actor and go on a journey to create this really amazing world that Dickens has created for us. Mm -hmm.